So here we are back in the steel plant to uh, find out how the reline of vessel number one has been progressing. Delighted to be joined by Mo Gadu. Mo Gadu is a uh, production specialist here in primary operations. Uh, Mo, thanks for bringing us up here to an extraordinary place, another extraordinary place. Uh, tell us, since we were last here, what's been happening on the reline project? So uh, basically we completed the, um, the wreck of the vessel. The next essential step after that was to basically inspect the whole vessel within the safety line inside of it. Um, we've done that. There was a little bit of issues around the safety line in which we decided that we're going to be repairing. Um, the vessel goes vertical then and it gets isolated and it gets passed to the engineering team. And that's how we start the CDM site to be official. Um, so. After that, we, um, we do all the uh, scaffolding that we've seen earlier around the uh, stage level. We, uh, we build the scaffold to the uh, segment level and we basically start taking all the uh, segments to, uh, sorry, to renew the new segments uh, and, and basically bolt them in to the uh, vessel mouse. Yeah. yeah, so there's a lot of work being going on. Those segments are the pieces around the mouth of the vessel, aren't they? And those will get replaced. Uh, like you say, the, ver the, the vessel is now vertical, uh, but before that bricking happens, obviously you've got to access the vessel. And we're here on level two, I think you call it, yeah. uh, which is at the top of the vessel. Tell us a bit about what's going on behind us and what we can see. It might be a bit difficult to see, but try and explain what's going on, Mo, for us. Okay, so um, obviously to access the vessel, you will need to um, basically move the hood, which we call the movable hood. So um, if you have a look there, there is a rail. So we push the, uh, we move the uh, movable hood around to give us access to the vessel. Um, we have then what we call the reline tower and it's, it's basically a lift to allow us to go inside the vessel to commence our bricking. So uh, this is a major lift that we do um, with our 50 ton crane, which brings the, uh, the, the, the basically the tower in position it sits on two frames and uh, and then that's this phase completed then. Yeah, and uh, we were lucky enough actually to go inside the hood, the movable hood, uh, and have a look inside. And, it, and again, it's, a, it's an extraordinary piece of engineering and it, it's all full of pipes, for want of a better description. Now explain to us what the purpose of that hood is and what it connects to. So basically this hood is, is part of all our OG system. So uh, this system is designed to take all our basically waste gas that comes from the process into um, our uh, you know uh, BGR system, um, and um, and yeah, it's, it's full of uh, pipe work which is basically um, water cooled. There's water that circulates in the system, and that how we generate steam at, as well um, through our steam system, which is a different system, um, and. From time to time, we usually have wear around the pipes inside the uh, the hood, and this is the time basically within these major stops when we have opportunity to go inside the hood and and do all our repairs to the uh, to the hood. So it's another part of the project, another part of the reline that really I was unaware of. You know, you think that uh, it's just a case of ripping out a load of bricks and putting new bricks in, but there's a huge amount of work going on all over uh, primary steel making here. We saw the uh, flare stack earlier and the work going on there, the opportunity they've taken once the vessel is down. This, this idea of a movable hood is, is new to me and I'm sure it will be to many people. And the fact they're taking this opportunity to mend those steam leaks and do lots of other work around the ducting uh, just goes to show what a colossal project it is. And the fact these things happen two or three times a year is quite unbelievable, but clearly well designed. You know, clearly the people here are, are, are expert in their, in their trade, lots of contractors involved um, and we're just looking forward now to the next phase when we can maybe get inside the vessel uh, and talk to some of the guys who are putting in some of those 17,000 bricks so uh, Mo thanks very much for now and uh, hopefully see you throughout the project. Thank you, cheers.